All right, Android 14 is finally here. Let's check what's new coming on Pixel devices. All right, guys, this is my Pixel 7 Pro. And last night I flashed a factory image of Android 14 on it. What's new visual coming to Android 14. And with the further videos, we will start digging here. Let's first start with the versions. Let's go in settings, about. You can see devices Pixel 7 Pro. Alright, Android version now is upside down cake. Android security update is from February 5th, 2023. And this is almost everything new here. So the name of Android 14, the code name will be upside down cake. Let's tap on it. And sadly, we still don't have any animations for it. It is still Android 13. We don't have animation for Android 14, but probably with the next update it will came. Let me show you what we have here. All right, this is the schedule coming from Android and Google. And you can see from February to March, they will release developer previews. Two of them, one of them is now in February. This is the first developer preview of Android 14. We can't expect much of it, but from these developer previews and after that the beta will be released in April. We will receive the beta update for Android 14 on supported Pixel devices. And the beta will continue from April to May to June. And after that in July we will receive a platform stability update which will be pre-released final Android 14 ready for everyday use. Now my advice is to not flush these developer previews if you are not an enthusiast and not like me because they have lots of bugs system crashes and so on it's not ready for everyday use and this is the picture which google provides us for android 14. let's move now to improvements coming with android 14. they are not a lot as the first developer preview we can't expect much from visual changes most of the changes are under the hood so visual changes will be 5, 6, 7 or 10 something like this. Let's start first with the home screen. If you hold your finger now and select wallpaper style here, if you select basic colors, you will receive now these four more vibrant colors. And these are the soft colors before that on Android 13. These colors were a little bit more softer but now they are more vibrant colors and more visible this is not of course a big improvement but this is something coming with android 14 just a visual refine a more vibrant color here on wallpaper and style menu now we can go further to settings connected devices connection preferences and you will have now this option, fast pair, nearby detection of fast pair Bluetooth devices. Let's open it, scan for nearby devices. We need to wait and see what will happen here. For now, there is no any devices, except probably for those who are supporting fast pair. And for now, this is the only one device I have supporting this, but we'll wait and see what Google will do with that menu. I think that menu was here also in the previous betas but they remove it with beta 3 now it's here again so a new fast pair menu in connection preferences let's move to the next future in settings it is coming here from battery menu here it is battery so the first thing to spot here is if you tap on battery usage you can see that now we have a screen time since last full charge this is returned here now in the battery stats it is screen time since last full charge not for last 24 hours but from last full charge which is the right way to measure screen time this is something which google are changed in the android 12 and the graph was screen on time for the last 24 hours but now they return it back and it's now from last full charge thanks for that google and we have now a different drop down menu here breakdown by apps and breakdown by system so you can separate all the system which are draining your battery and 
and apps are on the different pane which is very useful and way more easier to use. Let's go back here on the main battery section and what is different here if you go in battery saver you have now a different streamline here basic battery saver and extreme battery saver and now it is made way more easier to use adaptive battery is now here in that section and you have basic and extreme battery savers in a different section essential apps you can select the essential apps and uh, frequently used apps now this is how the menu should look like it is easier to use easier to reach and of course you don't need to tap here on the three dots go in the adaptive battery and so on but now it is in the central console of battery saver menu let's go now here and check what we have in a schedule and reminder from here you will notice that google has removed the ability to set battery saver to enable based on your routine what's more the minimum battery percentage to active has been up from 10 to 20 percent let's stop here and you can see it's now 20 percent it's not 10 like before it is now 20 percent there is also now a new battery saver reminders toggle that will activate notifications when you're running low on lifespan so this is something new here we have now a different sections again just rearrange and making the menus more easier to use let's move back again to settings and go to security and privacy so you can see what we have here now all the drop downs menu are now removed and everything is here way more easier way more readable before that it was with a drop down menu now it's more readable and more easy to use again a fine refinement here again if you had in settings scroll down to system and go to multiple users if you have that option enabled you will have now the option allow guests to use phone call history will be shared with guest user so you can now activate that guest user and you will share a call history with it so this is something new coming with android 14 of course it crashes lots of time for me but this is expected that this is a developer preview and we have lots of bugs still again back to settings scroll down to accessibility and if we select here display size and text we can see we have a lot more options than before so here now we have a font size we can we can increase it up to 200 times but it is also a dynamic so you can see what happened it is increased here a preview but this one it makes a little bit smaller so it is just a dynamic and knows which to expand and which is not a nice future again so here we have up to 20 times font size also something new which is not available now but uh, it is uh, for developers and for real developers and they can test it you will have a back gesture preview so when you swipe back if you swipe more you can see a little bit where you will going if you swipe and hold a little bit you will see where you are going this is just something which they will include in back gesture but it is not available now for everyone this is something which we will see probably in next one or three updates another visual improvement if you go in settings about and if you if you go here and you can see aid is now here an option and also email one and two you have now the option to tap to show info before that it was shown directly now you have the option tap to show it is hide it and if you tap it will show you this is useful for someone like me which are recording videos for you and just you can see my email and AID numbers directly. In the future updates, of course, Android devices will receive a satellite connection, something like iPhone 14 and uh, Huawei Mate 50 Pro. This will be included in Android 14, but for now it's not available. And if you want to understand more about, about Android 14, you can follow Michal Rahman on Twitter. And of course, he is very famous for well-knowing Android and his every new tweet probably will be about Android 14 so 
you can understand every new future and i just want to share with you something which i'm very interested for because i'm using two sim cards in one device and this is android 14 is preparing to add an app cloning future many oems and third-party apps has this functionality now on almost every android device but it wasn't available for pixel devices we have now something which google are working for cloned apps sadly it's not available now and i can't test it but probably in the next developer preview it will be and for sure i will test it because i'm using two apps because of the two sim cards i used on my phone thanks mate for this you can follow him for every android 14 update thanks for watching this is almost everything new which i found for android 14 if you find something new of course you can share it with me thanks for watching and have a nice day